Hey everyone, welcome to my studio. My name is Reynard Burr and I am a full-time music producer, live looping artist, music performer, YouTuber, you name it. And today I'm going to show you my studio and the gear that I use, the process of me making my music uh, when I shoot live, the process of me shooting live and then putting it back into studio. And of course, how these bad boys, the Meze Audio Lyrique headphones play a role in this whole process. So, stick around, let's go. So, starting off with the Meze Audio Lyrique headphones. These guys have been a workhorse, to be honest. I have had them, well, I live in South Africa, so I've had them in Las Vegas on about, wow, four days of playing three times a day. And look at them, spotless. They look brand new. And I've been touring again. I went back to California for NAM. I had a whole month in Europe, uh, a whole tour in Europe just now in August. I've recorded my new album Solace, the live songs on these. So yeah, they've been in a very short amount of time. These headphones did a great job. They are really amazing at just compactability. They fold really nicely. For me, having a lot of gear, touring, I need compactability. And the most important part is, well, one of the most important parts is comfortability. I've had headphones that is so heavy, some headphones that they feel like they just gonna fall off your head when you play live. So these, man, they did the job, they did the job. So really impressed with the build quality, the sound quality, I mean, it's great. It's, 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 what can I say? It's nothing bad to say about it. I've been enjoying these cans so much and yeah, they are they're my go-to at the moment. So I love them. And um, yeah, guys, long cord, so good. I can run around while playing live. So yeah, these headphones have been a staple in my production. Um, but enough said about the, the headphones itself. I'm going to show you some other equipment just to quickly show you guys what I do, how I do it, and yeah, you'll see. So, I got my three main instruments, well, piano as well, which is, uh, I would say, my third favorite instrument out of these. Got my guitar, this is the Godin Grand Concert SA guitar. It's got MIDI as well, which is quite crazy for a guitar, but you need to plug it into a MIDI converter. These days you just use MIDI guitar by Jam Origin and you're sorted with MIDI. There you go, as you know. So, lovely guitar. I love, I love this guitar, it's awesome. Then my trusty electric cello, guys. This thing, it's been a workhorse. It is, yeah. Lost it since 2013, it's still going strong. Literally door, fender, can't go wrong. Love the tone on this one. All right, so as you all seen my um, live setup, there's quite a lot of stuff. Uh, I use the Novation SL Mark III as my main keyboard slash synth slash slash a lot of things i use the launch control here to control all my instruments i use the akai apc 40 mark ii to record my loopers everything basically recording purposes on there because it's very hands-on with the faders and buttons and everything lovely device i play all my percussion on the spdsx it's pretty standard in the industry and then everything into Ableton Live guys um, everything is connected with the CalDigit USB no it's not USB sorry it's Thunderbolt 3 connectivity and it just every keeps everything really tight 
there's no glitches i've had l almost no glitches on stage i can count the number of glitches on one hand which is still not good to count glitches but they happen because there's just so much there's just so much equipment so enough of all the instruments um what happens is i take it on the road i go to a gig i set everything up i do my live performance i hit record on ableton live ableton live records everything every single automation every knob twist you name it the whole thing is recorded afterwards when the gig is done the cameras are everything worked everything was recorded i will then take the recording into studio like now i would sit here work on ableton and if there's anything i'll just balance the sound i'll add things i'll make it just i'll just glue the whole thing together uh, sometimes you don't even have to do anything but that is like on a really good day um, it all depends and um, my goal is obviously to get to a point where i don't have to do anything just send it away mix and master done I do a lot of my mixing and mastering myself. As you can see, I got my Eve audio monitors. Uh, I got my Zentor audio interface here. Everything works. And yeah, then I process the, the audio. I sync it up to the video and it's good to go. So yes, in the process of doing all that, I used, well, I, currently I use the Meze Audio Lyrique. I perform live with them, which they work really great because they're comfortable, they're flexible, they're durable, they sound great. So I have now performed at gigs in Azora, uh, Hungary, uh, Switzerland, south of Germany and France in August alone. This year I've, I've done Las Vegas, I've done um, California, uh, yeah, and Europe and South Africa. So these have been my go-to headphones. They're robust, they sound good, they feel good, they're comfy on the head. Let's just put them on. They just, you sometimes forget they're even on your head. I really love these headphones. They sound amazing and um, they're just all around. I would sit in studio, I would reference, I would mix and master on them. I would obviously use different references, uh, but they give me a really good idea. They really, they give you a solid sound. Um, I don't know how to describe it. I'm not an audiophile person to describe everything in very much detail. I just know the sound, it sounds great. I love these headphones. Um, and yeah, as you know, it's, it's comfy. I sit on the couch, just plug them straight into my laptop and they sound amazing. Uh, I've got an M1 Pro laptop, so they obviously have a good uh, DAC, and um, yeah, they just really all around sounds great. So well done, Meze Audio. These are amazing. Okay, and that about wraps it up for my studio session. Uh, there's just a quick little how to I do it in the studio and out of the studio. So my my work is both outside and inside the studio i literally take half of my studio into crazy locations and record there so you can check on my youtube i do a lot of videos outdoors i do busking videos i've done busking videos of this setup and um, it works great and really 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 love the setup love these headphones and yeah thank you guys for watching my name is reynard see you guys cheers bye bye